everybody i wanted to do a video today on 10 reasons to be grateful because sometimes we need a reminder sometimes you're gonna wake up and just feel like oh and you say sometimes i find having a reminder on reasons why i should be grateful really helps me it perks up my day so let's get into it number one you speak english now you might think that sounds weird and it is but it's true speaking english is a privilege not everybody in the world speaks English. And I'm not saying that English is superior. I'm saying speaking English as somebody who is half English and half Malaysian, and I've seen people in Malaysia who don't speak English, I feel like it limits their opportunities. That's a reality. And I might get hate for this. But if you can speak a global language, your, op your job opportunities open up immensely. Okay. And so if you're listening to this and you speak English and you understand me, you are, you should be grateful. You have that, that's a privilege, okay? There are people in the world who did not have access to education or didn't have, they had access, but the families didn't support them. They don't speak English and they're limited. They're limited in their situation. They might want to leave the country and explore what's out there and try different job opportunities, but their options are limited because they cannot communicate. Another another thing is, I really think that when we speak to other people, it's like reading different books. I really love traveling. That's why I love traveling, because you get to experience other cultures and expand your mind. And one way to do that is to communicate. But if you don't speak English, it is much harder for you to communicate. Your your knowledge can be can be limited by that. And it's it's frustrating because I'm absolutely not saying that, oh, you know, because you know how the English has a, bad, a history of, you know, colonizing countries, but I can see how much my development and opportunities have come to me and been presented to me because I speak English. And so you're listening to this, you speak English, you listen to English. That is something incredibly amazing to feel grateful of. Okay, that's a privilege. Number two, you can walk. Okay. So if you can't walk, don't watch this, but generally the people if you can walk that is a privilege if you can get up and go to work if you can go and walk to the bathroom if you can walk downstairs go upstairs that is a privilege because one day you might get into an accident one day you're going to get old and you can't walk and you're going to be sitting there thinking i wish i could get up and walk i wish i wasn't trapped so what if you're listening to this right now stand up and walk walk around because you can walk and that is a privilege. You have legs, you can move around, okay? I mean, remember Mer the little mermaid? What, what, <laughs> you know, she really wanted to have legs and for good reason, okay? I love Little Mermaid, by the way. What was it? What was the song that, that Little Mermaid? Uh, I wanna be where the people are. I wanna see, I wanna see them dancing. Well, I can't remember that song. I think that was a song, um, was that the Little Mermaid song? Anyway, I think it is. Now, Number three is you have a comfortable pillow, okay? Chances are, if you're watching this, there are many things in the world that other people have that we don't have and we maybe can't have because we don't have the money. But everybody can have a comfortable pillow. And so just know when you go to sleep today and you can snuggle up and you can lie on your pillow, just know that is a privilege. That's amazing privilege that you can go to sleep every night and have a comfortable pillow. And it's something to be super grateful about. Every single night, you can go to sleep because you have a comfortable pillow. Now, number four is, you have someone you love who loves you back. And that could be your pet. That could be an unconventional definition of love. But human beings need love and they want to give love. And I'm, I guarantee you watching this today, you have somebody that you love whether it's family or friends and there's somebody out there that loves you back and you may not even realize it but i i'm sure that there is somebody that, that loves you back and appreciates you just the way you are and i want you to just embrace that because a lot of people out there don't have love a lot of people don't have anybody to love and they aren't loved back and so if you have somebody that loves you that is something some reason a reason to be grateful today another reason to feel grateful is there's so many amazing books out there that are so interesting to read, right? Like, think, I get so excited thinking about this. I love to read and it's like a new adventure, right? Think of all the amazing, interesting books and um, that you can watch out there. And another one on top of that is interesting movies to watch. Think of all the, you know, when you watch a really great movie and you're like, man, I really enjoyed that. Think about all the other hundreds, 
thousands of, of movies and YouTube videos out there that can provide you with entertainment. This, this is a privilege that what other people in the past did not have access to. You and me have access to this amazing privilege of entertainment. And it's something we can look forward to and appreciate. Um, another one is we live in a time where, where everything is accessible. This is amazing, right? Because, you know, I, my mother-in-law is Irish and she lived in the rural, rural island. They didn't have electricity, they didn't have hot water. And we take this for granted. Like, we, we don't have heating. So just know today, everything is accessible. You want to call someone, you have your mobile. You're watching this on, a, on, a, on your phone, maybe on a laptop. You, um, you know, you want takeaway, you can order and grab. You want to go somewhere, you can take Uber, right? Everything is so accessible. And that includes knowledge. Like back in the day, if you wanted to learn something new, you had to go to the library or you, you know, you'd have to read the book. Now you can Google it. You can watch YouTube. Everything is accessible. And I find that so liberating. You are literally one skill away from changing your life. I changed my life and earned a full-time income from blogging because I was I had Wi-Fi. I could I could look and read courses and and take take training to help me learn the skill. And so just know that you live in an easier time where everything is accessible, life is more comfortable. And I want you to feel so grateful for that. And imagine it was taken away from you. And so another thing is. Greenery and peace is only a walk or car drive away. Wherever you go, we still fortunately live in a time where there's still nature. And obviously we need to work hard to protect this, but Mother Earth. But, you know, even when I was living in my apartment in KL, I didn't, I lived, I didn't, my, my home, in my home where my parents live is a lot more green, but I was living in a, kind of like an industrial estate. And I could sometimes feel a bit claustrophobic, but I was able to drive to somewhere that had greenery and immediately calm myself down. And so you watching this today, know that you have nature and greenery, a walk or a drive away. And that is a privilege. That is a privilege. Okay. Something to feel really grateful about and look forward to. And number nine, I think about this all the time and I think I'm not in jail. You watching this, chances are you're not in jail. If you are, I guess you are. And I hope that you're doing well. But chances are you're not in jail. And just imagine how you'd feel if you didn't have your freedom. Freedom is so precious. You wake up and you decide, right, I'm going to go to work. I can, I can eat the food that I want to eat. I can do what I want to do. But if you're in jail, you are stuck and your freedom is limited. You are at the mercy of others. There's uncertainty, you know, it could be dangerous. Feel grateful today for our freedom. And lastly, my... My, on my list here is and this is so important and it's relevant is you aren't living in a war-torn country so so much war is going on right now it's so devastating and so horrific but we are living you know if you're watching this chances are you don't live in a war-torn country and if you do I'm really sorry to hear that um, and I hope it gets better but our freedom and our peace is so so precious and it's part it's you know we have we've won the passport lottery haven't we you know, we're living in a peaceful country. Wherever you're, you know, if you're in the US, you're in Malaysia, Bangalore, whatever. If your country is not at war, that's a privilege. If you if you wake up and you know that you aren't going to be attacked with tanks and, and shot to death, shot dead, that is a privilege, okay? So I want us to embrace that privilege and really savor it. And embrace these little, little bits of gratitude that other people in the world don't have or they didn't have in the past. And I hope it brightens up your day. And if you can think of more things that you're grateful for, I'd love to hear them in the comments. Thanks for watching.